Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole if you're new here and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be me showing you organisation favourites. I have been collecting little odds and ends throughout the like past two years. I think my obsession mainly started in lockdown when I was stuck at home in this rented house and I couldn't really decorate it, I couldn't really do anything. So the main thing that I realised that I could do was to just make little changes around the house to make things look nicer that I could take with us into a new house and uh, yeah, not have to upset my landlord. I am very much like a very semi-organised person sometimes my life really is not and having two small children sometimes I do dip but I do like to have a home for everything and I really like those things to look nice so basically everything I'm about to show you now brings me so much joy this has also been very much fueled by the likes of TikTok and Instagram YouTube you know the work social media but yeah I just wanted to show you the things that I have picked up so first up I wanted to show you these pump bottles I am obsessed I have quite a few of these and I have made the switch for my shampoos and conditioner this is Matt's and um, he's got head and shoulders instead of using like having mismatched bottles I just wanted my bathroom to feel a bit more sleek and to have some matching bottles and just feel a little bit more fancy so I just did basically decanted every bathroom product and put it into these pumps so this as I mentioned is matte so I use these larger 1000 uh, ml bottles for shampoo and conditioner because I know obviously we use a lot of that and it tends to come in bigger bottles these are always like really gross. It doesn't matter how much I wash them. They just, they don't stay very clean. They always look very dusty. I've just used my favorite, uh, my label maker. And I've just labeled the bottles and I just love the way it looks. Honestly, it brings me so much joy. So in those bigger bottles, I have my shampoo, conditioner, I have Matt's shampoo. And then in these amber glass ones, I thought that these were gonna be glass, but they turned out to be plastic. But when I bought these ones, I just didn't read the listing. I just looked for the size and these ones arrived and they were glass. And um, I would have preferred those ones to be glass. Anyway, so yeah, I got a few of these ones. These ones are 500 mil. And again, I've just used my label maker and I've got one for bubble bath body wash uh, and for Nina's um, soap as well. Nina's got very sensitive skin so we have, she has her own bottle of Aveeno. And I also ordered some of these as well. So without a pump, it's just got like a little cap. And I thought I would just de even go as far to decant like the mouthwash. I'm not mad about it. My friends think I'm crazy, but I love the look of it. Also bought another one of these with the caps for my micellar water to remove my makeup. And when they're all lined up on like in our bathroom, I think they look so beautiful. And this is what I mean. Just little changes around the house to just make it feel a little bit nicer and put together. As I mentioned, we're in a rented house and I can't do anything to it, but we are in the middle of buying our first home. So now I can obviously take all of this with me into a nice new home are still feeling like I had control over my house, if that makes any sense. Along with all of those bottles and pumps in the bathroom, I have also now got an obsession with jars. <laughs> in the kitchen, I have swapped every single thing that I can possibly think of uh, in my cupboards and I have decanted everything into jars. Uh, and I'll just show you to start off, I've got some of these. These are my tea and coffee jars and I also have another two downstairs for a decaf coffee and coffee grounds. This is just what I'm using for tea bags and uh, yeah, my coffee at the minute. And I think they all look so nice uh, on, sat on my counters. These ones are really nice, like wooden lids. And again, just using my favored label maker. I also picked up these bigger jars off of Amazon. And this is what I have all my big bulkier food products in like oats, rice, pasta. Along with these jars, uh, I've also got like, they're like half the size of these. So I've got things like stock cubes and taco spices and things like that. Yeah, I love the way that these look and I can't wait to have like an open pantry in my new home uh, yet to display it all because, you know, it brings me joy, have it on display. And then along with those big jars, I also picked up these. These were really cheap, they were about $2.99 I think from the range, maybe even 
and so I grabbed so many of these jars while I could uh, and then yeah I just put like our baking things in like chia seeds, flaked almonds, the desiccated coconut sugars, things like that. Uh, so I have quite a few of these downstairs in my cupboards as well. And along with the big jars, I also have some little spice jars. And I have a lot of these. I am married to a French chef and we have a lot of spices in my cupboard. And I was so sick of just having mismatched, empt like half empty bottles of you know, different spices and herbs in my cupboard uh, where my husband would bring them home from work to do baking for work at home. We would have like half opened bags of vanilla pods and saffron and things like that. And it's so expensive and I was sick of like picking something up and having a bag of coriander fall on my head. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get some of these. It looks nice. So I have quite the collection of these little jars, but yeah, I think they look so lovely. And again, I can't wait to display them in like, on like open shelving in my new home one day in a pantry. And whilst we are sticking to jars, I just wanted to show this little um, stack. <laughs> uh, my husband actually bought me this for Christmas. I asked him for quite a few of these bits for Christmas uh, because I don't really want or need anything. I just want to make my house look nice. So I asked him for vouchers and he didn't want to do that so he bought me some other things that I wanted to buy with my vouchers so and this this was basically it I'm not gonna lie most of this is my Christmas presents uh yeah so he bought this for me and I just can't wait to use it in my new bathroom but this one's empty but I've been putting bath salts in there and um because I didn't really know what else to put in there I wasn't gonna fill it with cotton balls but I don't use cotton balls so there's just no point in me buying those to fill it up and not use it and I thought I'll have some bath salt in there because I actually use that so I've just got some like nice bamboo uh, earbuds in there some cotton pads because I use that to remove my makeup and yeah bath salts in the top one and of course you just take them all apart to access the stuff inside and the top one has a nice wooden lid very pretty cannot wait to add that in my new bathroom when we finally move then moving back to kitchen stuff I should have really categorize these that's annoyed me oh well um i've picked up some of these like veg containers i was 100 percent influenced by the tiktok of kaylee may and i know that she has lots of these and i thought this was a great idea i love the idea of it but then i have a tiny little like under the countertop fridge that she has this huge american fridge so it makes sense for her to buy these things uh so i haven't used this one as much as i would like because it is humongous but yeah it's just basically to keep your veg in she keeps this tiktoker keeps her like peppers and avocados things like that in i bought this and it comes with two of these and these smaller ones i do use uh, it's just got like the little tabs on top to like use for like ventilation for your food and it clips on and off and then this is essentially like the basket and you can keep it all in there. So I like to keep our fruits in here, the stuff that goes off so quick, like blueberries and raspberries and strawberries. So yeah, I've definitely been using the little ones more than I have the big one. But when we move into our new house, we're hoping to put our little under countertop fridge in like a garage as like a backup and then have an actual like big American fridge where I can keep all my food. But yeah, I've been loving those. And another thing that I use in my fridge are these. I've had these for ages now. I was very much influenced to pick these up from Mrs. Hinch. Uh, I found Mrs. Hinch when I was in my nesting period with my little boy and I was a woman obsessed. That's kind of died down a bit now. I'm not really that into Mrs. Hinch anymore. But I do love these things. They're like the fridge organizer or cupboard organizers. I have quite a few of these in my cupboards. And like I said, in my fridge, I like to separate everything. Like I have a drawer for cheese, a drawer for like condiments, vegetables, fruit, things like that. Uh, we don't eat meat, so we don't separate meats and things like that. But yeah, it's just nice to know that everything has a place. And these are so cheap. You can find these in like home bargains. I think these ones were from, yeah, home bargains or B&M. Now, I see them everywhere these days and they're really cheap now. A couple of years ago, um, when they were like all the rage, they were really expensive. And now I've seen them like 
quite cheap and they're everywhere. Very recently I also picked this up. It's a little clear box uh, which I have used to put my chargers and cables in. I've picked up two of these. It wasn't used for that purpose. It, I think it's supposed to be a jewellery box and it had um, another layer inside here with like tiny little compartments to put your jewellery in. Uh, it was from B&M and it was, I saw it in like the reduced section. So I bought two of them, I got rid of the plastic inserts and I've taken them to work for like sorting for the kids and things like that. I thought this would be perfect, like a little compartment to stash all my cables. So I have two of these uh, because I just had cables everywhere. They were like on my bedside floor, in my bedside drawer, like the kitchen cupboards in like our junk drawer. They were just everywhere. They were taking over. So I just thought these would be a really good idea. And I just labeled it with my label maker. And yeah, now I have a place for all my cables. Along with that little charging box from B&M, I also picked up these little plastic organizers. These were again, so cheap. And I use these in my bedside table. And I've also got some for my kitchen like drawers downstairs so yeah these have been really handy to just organize my bedside stuff such as like my hand creams like eye creams eye masks and things like that so instead of just tossing it all in the drawer everything has its place the last thing that i wanted to show was how i store my important documents i have just finished making these so i've decided to put everything into a, a binder i did have everything in a like a folding box type thing if you know what i mean you know those folding folders one of those uh but it just got absolutely trashed uh and so i just thought because you know you're actually constantly in and out of it that's what i found anyway especially having kids doing passports doing like wedding things moving house lately we've just like destroyed it because we've been in and out of it so much so i just decided to pick these folders up these folders were from paper chase i think they were about four pound and then to go inside i've picked up these pockets you know the ones with like the envelopes with the popper on and I've just used my label maker. I've just sectioned off everything that we kind of needed and labeled it, if you can see. So I've got like our passports in one, the kids' red books in one, like certificates such as like our birth, marriage certificates and things like that. Stuff for the home. I've got a folder for our pension, bills, like our most recent ones, uh, you know, our qualifications, anything to do with banking, the car, taxes, you know, you get it. Uh, I don't know how long this will actually last because uh, it seemed like a good idea at first, but it's very heavy and as you can see, everything is starting to fall forwards. And over time, I know that I will probably have to replace this, but I had to do that with my original method as well, with the accordion folder thing. So if, if something is in constant use, then yeah, it is bound to get battered. But yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, my system and I just thought along with doing the important documents I was, I was also going to keep like our keepsakes in these folders as well so I've got two of these and I've done the same thing uh, with these pockets uh, I've just added in like all my birthday cards uh, Christmas cards Valentine's Day Mother's Day all of those kinds of things uh, in here and I've also done another folder with like memories of like you know ticket stubs travel tickets days out kind of things every like little memento that i've saved over the years and since having kids um yeah like from our wedding anniversary from our wedding i've put them all in another one of these folders i love the way that it looked with the um label maker and these craft folders and i got this idea from another tiktoker called pretty perfect planners or pretty perfect products and she's a very organized like mum and teacher and yeah she has this system and she keeps everything in her kitchen cupboard so if she had a fire she could quickly like grab everything and run out the back front door and I thought that makes so much sense I'm gonna do the same thing so yeah I, I don't know how long they will last for but you know hey -ho. But yeah at the minute it makes me happy and that is everything everything that I've been enjoying lately to make myself feel a little bit more put together, make my home feel a little bit more organized and my soul and my brain as well. I love this type of stuff and I can honestly go for hours on TikTok and Instagram watching these types of videos where people decant things and refill, restock. I just love them. Like I said, it's just soothing to my soul. I'm a Virgo, so 
it just it just calls to me so thank you very much for watching i hope you did enjoy it if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i would love for you to also consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye